Okay, that's it. I need a fucking break. I have seen so many Teen Titans Go episodes that... I don't even know how many it is anymore. So therefore, I decided to try another loaf. Simply called Red Winners. Yeah. I heard a lot of bad stuff about the show and decided to check it out. <laughs> I mean, it couldn't possibly be any worse than that god-awful Teen Titans Go series. Right? I was so very wrong! Badoos! This show isn't just bad, it is almost King Star King bad. Of course, excluding the gore and stuff. I swear, this show is one of the worst shows that I've ever seen, and I would strongly recommend you to watch something else. Anything. I mean, the creator didn't even believe it when Nickelodeon contacted him. Seriously, I could easily see that Gary and Steve answering Nickelodeon like this. You want to make an entire series out of this shit? You're going to pay us for it? What the? Uh, no. You didn't come here to hear all that. No. You came here to see me get a psychological breakdown. So I hope you're happy now because we're going in. This is Breadwinners, Episode 1, Fuck Loaf. By God, that's awful. The episode starts out with an annoying song above all else. Which is followed by the most annoying tune I have ever heard. I got to be honest here, I don't like dubstep hip hop or techno. And I do believe whatever this is categorized under, it's still terrible for people who actually likes this stuff. We now see the main protagonist and I'm serious here. They are called Sway Sway and Bidouche. Badoosh. They are a so-called bread delivery service, which delivers bread to Duckburg. Sorry, town. Duck town. Let's not mix up a great show in this filth. And already now, what, 20 seconds in? You can already tell the problem with the show. Let me list them for you. Number one, bad animation. Number two, Photoshop mess. Number 3, annoying sound effects. Number 4, rhythmic movement, sort of a shitty musical actually. Number 5, booty jokes galore. Number 6, they never shut the fuck up. And this is the show. Aren't you happy? <laughs> Cause I'm fucking not. Seriously, I could be watching Gravity Falls right now. Or an episode of Spongebob. Or oh, heck, even Young Justice Season 3! I know that hasn't been made yet, but right now, I could be organizing a crowdfunding to get it back on Cartoon Network. But no, I don't have time for that. Because I'm watching fucking Breadwinners. Okay, enough of that. It continues delivering different types of bread that I swear would make the cooking and chowder seem normal. In your bake! Until they realize that they have a dozen loaves of bread left. And no orders. Gee! Why not just eat them yourself? You seem a little too happy about bread anyway. Or why not just deliver them tomorrow? Nah man. Nobody wants day old bread. Fair enough. You're going to run out of business pretty soon with that policy though, but Hey, less episodes to watch. So, go ahead. Sadly enough, somebody orders a dozen of bread. Lucky lucky. But it is in the bad side of town. The... Dear God. Lower yeast side. It's in order for a dozen loaves! Perfect! To the worst part of Ducktown. Wait, you mean the lower yeast side? Man, I thought Chowder's jokes went a little too far once in a while. But this? Really fucking takes the cake. We then see the lower yeast side in all its photoshopped glory. Alright, that's it. Let's bring some photoshopped animals in here. Yeah, I can do it too. 
Here, they deliver the bread and everything seems heavy again, except for the fact that they forgot the keys in their rocket van. I didn't mention that before. They got a rocket van? Well, they do. I just realized where I left them. But now the biker dog appears and they tear apart every single car in the lower yeast side. And of course, Sway Sway, having no personality or character traits whatsoever, decides to dress up as biker dogs. Oh, sorry, I mean level up as biker dogs. I have the perfect disguise. Le 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 level up! Biker dogs! <laughs> Silly me! <laughs> Okay, who took 12 dozen of acid to come up with this? We then get to the biker dogs. By the way, the only persons who can talk are Bidouche and Sway Sway. The rest quacks. You know, because they're dogs. As I was saying, the annoying dude tricks the biker dogs to open the van for them by saying they have a lot of scrumptious bread inside. Because! It's filled to the brim with tastacular bread. Yeah! Why the biker dogs didn't look through the window to confirm this, I don't know, but it makes the biker dogs so pissed that they apparently want to scoop up Sway Sway and Bidouche. Oh no! Not the ladle! Which leads to a fight scene or a bump in the head, which leads to an alley monster eating the duck. <laughs> it happens. How many times do I have to tell people this? Explain why you do stuff. Are we just to accept that an alley monster is common? Fuck it, let's move on. After this, Bidouche becomes the top lead of the ducks. Moving on, they try and ditch the biker dogs and for some strange reason they manages to get all bikes inside the van, including the monster. Leading up to a literal butt kissing joke. For some strange reason I think somebody had to do this in real life to get this show greenlighted. Booty kick! And now they get rid of the dogs by booty kicking the handle to release the load. Like before. B -b 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 booty kick. You know, to make us think they actually have continuity in the show. We then get a completely annoying song about Bidouche's booty and seriously, this is the end note of the episode. I say this with my butt. Thanks to your butt. And wow, I thought Teen Titans Go was bad. Come to think of it, I did say something like this before. What was it? Oh yeah, give breadwinners some credit. They at least have original characters. Clearly I didn't watch the show when I said that. Because if this is what goes for originality, then I actually prefer reboots. Yeah. Teen Titans Go is a masterpiece compared to this. Breadwinners have no writing, so lowbrow humor that even simpletons would find this stupid. The characters are beyond annoying, the whole rhythmic thing gives me a headache. Photoshop everywhere, this show is truly outrageous, I cannot believe. Seriously, I cannot believe somebody actually came up with this shit. Anyway guys, I might look at 10 episodes of this show, depending on how much I can take. Until next time.